saved by grace, a journey from darkness to light. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. In Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9, the apostle Paul delivers a powerful message about the foundation of our faith, grace. He reminds us that our salvation is a gift from God, not something we can earn through our own efforts. It is a profound expression of His love and mercy toward us. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15 to chapter 2 verse 10, the Apostle Paul beautifully captures the essence of Christian faith, a journey from darkness to light, from hopelessness to the richness of God's grace. It is a reminder of the incredible transformation that occurs when we embrace the love of Christ. First, gratitude for faith and love. Paul begins by expressing his gratitude for the Ephesians' faith and love. It's a reminder of the importance of a sincere, growing faith and the impact of love within the Christian community. How often do we express our gratitude for the faith and love of fellow believers? Second, Wisdom and Revelation Paul prays for the Ephesians to receive wisdom and revelation, deepening their understanding of God. Likewise, we should seek spiritual insight, allowing God to reveal more of Himself to us. So how can we actively seek God's wisdom in our lives? Third, the riches of God's grace. Paul vividly describes our state before Christ spiritually dead in our sins. It's a stark reminder of our desperate need for salvation and the depth of God's grace. So how has God's grace transformed your life? Fourth, saved by grace. In these verses, Paul emphasizes God's rich mercy and love, which saved us when we were utterly underserving. Our salvation is a gift of grace, not something we can earn. So how does this truth impact your view of your relationship with God? And fifth, God's workmanship. Paul concludes by emphasizing that we are God's workmanship created for good works. Our faith in Christ is not just for personal salvation but also for a purpose to live out God's plan for our lives. So how are you actively engaging in the good works God has prepared for you? So in conclusion, Ephesians 1.15 to 2.10 reminds us of the incredible journey from the darkness to light that we experience through faith in Christ. It calls us to gratitude, seeking wisdom, and living out the purpose for which God has saved us. May we embrace God's grace and be transformed vessels of His love and goodness in the world. So imagine a priceless gift, beautifully wrapped and waiting for you. You didn't earn it. It was freely given out of love. That's what God's grace is like. It's a gift of salvation, forgiveness, and eternal life. We can boast about our good deeds because this gift is not based on our merits. It's solely a result of God's boundless love and kindness. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude for the incredible gift of grace. Thank you for saving us through faith, not because of anything we've done. Help us remember that our salvation is a reflection of your love and mercy. May we live our lives in response to this amazing grace, sharing your love with others. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.